Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today we're going to do a 10,000 mile review on this here destroyer. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the 10,000 mile review. This is uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while. Oh, geez. Oops, sorry. So, 10,000 miles owning a 2019 Dodge Challenger 1320. Um, I really haven't had any problems. Uh, tires have been my biggest thing. I have a video on that. I've gone through three sets of tires already. Uh, one of them wasn't anybody's fault but a chunk of steel in the road so uh, yeah I gotta say the thing still runs absolutely perfect I've not had any issues uh, I've done my regular oil changes and my maintenance uh, I do not take this to the dealer unless there's a big issue uh, there is still the radio recall that I have not done yet I know some people have and they've had issues with the car not wanting to go into drag mode so I'm kind of leery about going to do that. I'm still waiting for Uconnect to put out their update so I can update it myself using a USB thumb drive. But uh, that really is the only issue I've had is the backup camera going out. Uh, I've reset the fuse, as you've seen in previous videos, and not had any issues. I did it twice, and it's still, it's still going now for the second time, and it's been six months or so. This car never gets old. I'll just tell you, after 10,000 miles, I think I've fallen deeper in love with it. I know there's people who've traded theirs back in or had other issues. I've not had any of that. I've taken this thing to the track in excess of 10 times. And uh, my best run in 85 degree weather was 12-1. Uh, but I, I know as soon as I get a chance to race it in cool weather, hopefully this November, God willing, uh, I'm able to break this thing into the 11s and join the 11 second club. Um, I gotta say, if you have a chance to get one of these and you're a drag racer, this is the best NA car for the money, in my opinion. Now, if you're looking to, I've seen a guy on a forums who bought a 1320 and was asking about putting bags on it. That doesn't make sense to me, not for this car. No, 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 no. You buy it for the suspension. It has the demon nuggets in there so we can launch off the line so we get a little... so we get a little traction. Do not buy this if you're gonna bag it. Get yourself a normal scat pack and go ahead and have fun. But for a 1320, probably not a good idea. But I'm heading back to the house now. I'm gonna go ahead and do a walk around for you. We'll take a look and see, you know, I drive, well, I was before COVID. I was driving this an hour to work and an hour home. So let's take a look at the overall health of the car from a visual perspective and see how how it's fared over 10,000 miles now I do keep it garage in the garage it's garage kept I uh, don't let it park outside but I'm just a weirdo that way so uh, once I get back to the house we'll do a walk around and I'll add some more info So probably one of the number one things I would recommend if you have to highway drive like I did or hopefully will do soon in the future uh, to work is get yourself a clear bra. I've had 
see this little chip right here that's a wonderful rock smash uh, when I first got the car I had a landscape trailer drop a rock off so I had that uh, but there really is not any other major scratches or dings or anything on the vehicle uh, everything has, has held up really well even though you know like I said I'm driving on the highway and there's crap flying at you all the time um, there is I do have somewhat of an issue with uh, traction loss but I think that's user error so I'll have to look into that but from a wear standpoint um, even out in the Arizona heat uh, I keep putting on protectant for all the black plastic so they don't fade nothing has really faded um, right now it's a little dirty but everything is still holding up to this wonderful it's 115 today while I'm making this video just so you know uh, the other thing I did is turn too sharp and curb the wheel that's the only spot I have on all four but once again 10,000 miles and uh, those are the few things that I have on the car from a blemish perspective I don't think I'm doing too bad now I do want to let you know that the interior has held up extremely extremely well for the amount of use this thing gets let me go ahead and look in here uh, from my perspective the wear on these I mean armrest I use all the time you know your, all your buttons all your handles uh, the seats themselves from climbing in and out and sliding all over everything is held up absolutely perfect steering wheel the fabric that comes on these the Elcantara that has held up very very well and it's still comfortable like the day I bought it um, yeah everything else has held up really really well now my car is a little bit dirty but from a wear perspective even with my kids in the back there's no issues there there's the other armrest other than that I mean the headliner still holding up everything is good I mean only 10,000 miles but once again if there's issues like that I want to be able to call them out for you guys uh, to see if you have the same problem now I do know there's a few people who have had when they take their car to the strip and run it hard they have had the sway bar rear end link back here the little links on the end of the sway bar they've had them break um, there's a place called B Woody if you need to replace them don't bother with the factory ones uh, I would I would highly recommend B Woody uh, get your end links from them they'll stay nice and solid they're a lot thicker and more sturdy but other than that I've really not heard of issues the other one I had come to think of it was when I was at the drag strip and I've had it a couple times on the street where if you have it in drive and you hammer on it if the tire spins at all there can be a delay between first and second or second and third so I don't know if it's just a tune issue with the computer where it hits rev limiter and then causes a delay shift but um, yeah I still haven't figured that one out I don't really have the, the issue very often I, last time I was at the track I hand shifted it uh, through first and second and it didn't seem it seemed to help I did not have the delay issue so um, just a little bit of advice on that front moving on to the engine bay once again everything is held up extremely well um, I'm not as good as I should but I do I do clean it once in a while um, nothing has melted or faded uh, I have no leaks uh, that I'm aware of and I climb onto this thing all the time just for silliness and videos um, I do have the Hellcat airbox I, I don't know that it makes a massive difference but uh, it definitely helps with my air intake temperatures out here in Arizona but yeah, everything else under here has held up really well. You can see here all the plastics. Everything is, is looking good, even the rubber seal on the back there, sometimes that goes bad. I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the, the uh, build quality on this vehicle. So if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I love reading your comments and, and getting advice from you guys to see what you've been through. And uh, we can also help each other, you know, some of us have a, one issue and the other one won't, but um, there's always ways to fix things and, you know, two heads are better than one and three helps you get closer to the right answer.
But I appreciate you guys watching my videos and supporting the channel. Go ahead and sidekick the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you get the new notifications. And hit the thumbs up for me. I know you're asking me all these things. Well, I appreciate it. And if you haven't checked it out, I am doing grilling videos on here as well and some griddle cooking. I uh, hope you guys don't mind, but it's right now during this uh, epidemic, I can't get to the track. The track's closed. Every time there's an event, it ends up being canceled or delayed. So for me, uh, I still want to make content for you guys. And what better way than to fill your belly with good food or give you advice on how to make some good food? I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.